Welcome back to another episode of A Bite of Culture. Today we are going to some magical faraway land called China. What if I said it was a magical faraway land and it just said like Sacramento, California? <laughs> okay. What? Oh, look at this. There's a little pamphlet. Oh, it tells you what's in here with a lot of information of China. China. All right, snack crate, hashtag snack crate China. Did you know China, officially known as the People's Republic of China, is a vast and diverse country located in East Asia as the world's second most populous nation? But you didn't know that. China covers an expansive territory ranging from high mountains to sprawling plains, deserts, and coastlines. Chinese cuisine with its regional variations is celebrated worldwide for its diverse flavors and techniques. I wonder if it's very much different than, where did we go last time? Taiwan. Uh, let's see, discover your Chinese snacks. Scan the QR code to find your snack street, snack sheets. Test your wits against China trivia and explore more exciting snack crate content. Look, they've got a panda bear. That's a panda bear, right? Is that an arc bear? Is it an archangel bear? Did you know it's archangel and not archangel? Fun facts. Okay, so I see our snacks here. Let's just do what we do and do and lay them out. What? Every video. Oh look, there's a soda pop. Soda pop. Oh, there's a lot more in here than I expected. Oreos? Teats? Oh, treat. <laughs> I thought it said teat. Oh, there's some jelly. It's like a little... Uh, cucumber flavored chips. No idea. Skittles? Skittles in a tube? That looks hot. More high chews. Peach. These feel squishy. And then little orange candies. Okay, cool. It's all laid out. Now, does this not tell us anything about the snacks that we get? Are you just supposed to eat them? These snacks are expired. What? <laughs> just kidding, they aren't. China prints manufacturing dates rather than expiration dates. Additionally, China uses a different date format than the US. We've included a handy chart for reference below. They're not expired, they're still good. Okay, well, I, I, I guess you don't get to know what you're eating. Want to chat? Yes, can we call them? The, the number of four is considered unlucky in China is often associated with death. For many Chinese buildings do not have a fourth floor. So do they just skip to the fifth? Wouldn't that still be the fourth? Chopsticks were first used about 5,000 years ago and were originally used for cooking, not eating. Chinese brides traditionally wear red rather than white, as red is considered a lucky color in China. China. With an estimated 1.425 billion inhabitants, China is currently the second most populated country in the world. Discover your snacks. Scan the cute code to find your snack sheet. Oh, okay. Oh, dude, they're doing everything digital now. Oh, passion fruit. Apple soda. Okay, log log into view. Oh, you gotta log in to view this. Please hold while we process your request. And the first one it's starting us off with is the Chips Ahoy Cranberry. These are not your standard Chips Ahoy cookies. They are so light, fluffy, and chewy that you might have to do a double take. USA, please level up. Oh, shots fired, China. Can we see them? Chips Ahoy Cranberry. People always ask me, they're like, do you just throw that trash on the ground? Let's see. Can I see this thing here? Oh, this is freaking messy. Okay, I literally didn't get any of the inside. Oh boy. Is this table clean? <laughs> no. There's like, oh my God, it's just so messy. Um, that tastes like a, um, what does that taste like? It tastes like a cookie, like a regular, like a cookie. Okay, so it tastes like those ones at Christmas time that have the jelly in the middle. Shortbread. Not a long one. Um, okay, so that cookie tastes very familiar. Tato, Tato, come here. Um, that's really good. It's very sweet. Um, it's a very familiar taste though. Like I, I feel like that's um, a very common cookie that you can get. I don't feel like that's very special. Anyway, I like it. We can give it a, we're gonna give it an eight. Okay, next up. Oh, that was really good actually. A little, a little hint of cranberry in it. Okay, next up is the peach jelly gummies which is this right here. 
They look like little butts. These snack boxes are terrible for my weight loss journey. They're oh so good. Okay. Smells peachy. I don't think I've ever had snacks from China before. China. Little tiny peach shaped peach flavored gummies. They look like little butts. Can you see that? Zoom in, producer, on the butt. I need to bring Vance in for an episode of this. Oh, chewy. These are nice little fruit snacks. I feel like these would be good for like kids or 149 year old vampires. It's basically the same thing. Mm. I like peaches and peach shaped emojis. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I'm gonna give those an eight as well. They're very delicious, very gummy. I feel like after a handful of those, though, they're too much. They look too sweet. A lot of sugar. Give me more. Just kidding. Don't do it. Don't do. Okay, moving on. We got Oishi Orange Candy. Um, I think that's these little guys right here. Are these all the same thing, though? Well, looks like it. Nice catch. Nice God. All right. Uh, the perfect hard candy exists, and we found it. These little orange-flavored morsels are perfectly sweet, sour, and satisfying. Well, I'll be the judge of that, China. All right, let's see. Sweet, sour, savory, satisfying. Tastes like orange. I really want to get into this. It tastes like orange medicine. Very sticky. Draven, you remind me of like one of those fish that have all the little fish on them. Draven has a candy wrapper on his fur and he looks like a little fish with other fish. Um, huh? I've read it every one of them. Paying attention. <coughs> you paying attention? Mm, 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 mm. I feel wrong giving this one an eight as well, but I think I'm gonna give it an eight as well. And I say that because I've, they're, they're, they're all different things though. Like they're eights in different categories. Like they're all different. That's good. I like these. China's actually surprisingly good. Crunchy rice balls. My nickname through high school. Oh, these are open already. They're like cut open. Is that safe? Look, it's like literally cut open. It's not even like, it's literally cut open. Somebody cut these open. Should I file a complaint? Spicy spring onion crackers. See, I knew it. I knew they were spicy. You could tell because of the warning that says spicy on it. Just kidding, it's got peppers. It's got little peppers on it. Do you see? You see them right there? That means that they're spicy. I bet you they smell spicy. They smell like feet. They smell like spicy cheese feet. Have you ever had spicy cheese feet? It's not the treat. But yet I keep smelling them. Okay, let's try these. I hope, I actually hope that they're spicy. No, they're not bad though. Okay, a little spice comes in at the end. It's one of those spices that like wraps itself around your tongue, like a silk dress around your tongue. Hmm. They're like spicy flavored, Saltines. Hmm. Um, they do have like a, a blandness to them. Like they don't have like, like an explosion of flavor. So I feel a little like underwhelmed, but they do have a nice spice to them. I'm gonna go with a, I'm gonna go a little lower. I'm gonna go with a seven on these because they're, um, oh, like I'm still soaking in that flavor. It's still really, it's really good, but a little bit like dry. A little bland. Damn, my rice poppers. What do they call those? Rice balls. But I'm disappointed by my rice balls being cut out. Anyways, seven. This is still really hot. One spoon, two spoon, big spoon, little spoon. Blue spoon, green spoon, blue spoon. Okay, next is, okay, lychee jelly. I, dude, I don't know what we're doing here. Uh, if you've never tried lychee, lychee, one of the two, prepare to fall in love. These flavored gummies are juicy, soft, sweet, and oh so moist. Addictive, not moist, sorry. Speaking of tea, try Tit Teas, the improper tea. I'm not sponsored. Ooh, that was like instantly stinky. Based off smell alone, these are already getting a two. That stinks. It smells like a boba shop. These are kind of frightening looking. All right, so it's just a big, oh. So it's a, it's a cluster of gummies that are oh so yummy. 
Well, they're stinky, that's for sure. But they do smell like beachy lychee. So, all right, here you go, bottoms up. Mm. These don't do anything for me. Kind of fragrant. <laughs> yeah. Nom, nom, nom. Uh, I'm gonna give those, those are gonna be the lowest of the day so far, out of four. Not really a fan. They have that fragrant kind of perfumey thing that I don't like, so there's that. Okay, cucumber lays. Sorry, Draven. Cucumber laid. Get laid in cucumber flavor. Get laid with cucumbers. That's actually kind of a thing, isn't it? Yeah, never mind. Taking it back. If you find cucumbers in your roommate's room, don't ask questions. Uh, cucumber lays. Potato chips. Cucumber chips. Potato chips. That's stinky too. That smells like a vegetarian chip or something. Oh, what does that smell like? It smells like maybe Maybe I'm wrong, but it, it reminds me of like those sandwiches that get the grass on them. Yeah, I know. When you get sandwiches and it has just like straight up grass on it, sprouts. Alfalfa, bean sprouts. Alfalfa, it's alfalfa. Alfalfa, chippy, chippy, chippy chips. Wow, that's different. That literally tastes like a cucumber. That's weird. I actually don't dislike it. It's weird because it's like, it makes your unhealthy snack taste healthy. That's not okay. Hmm. Hmm. I do know some people from China. All right, send me some cute chips. Some cute, some cute cukes. Oh shit. All right. Cucumber chips. I'm actually gonna give those. I'm gonna give them a seven. I'm gonna give them a seven. Those are good. I like it. It's odd. It's different. But I think I might like it because it's odd and different. Seven. Uh, Hi Chu. Classic haichu. Hi, Tato. Haichu. All right, so haichus, nothing special, I don't think. We'll try them, but I think it's probably pretty much just a haichu. We've been here, we've done that. Time, a timer hi too. Haichus have never like really been all that impressive to me. Tato. What are you doing, sweet boy? These though are lemon, I believe. Let me see. Yep, lemon for the women. Nah. Ooh. Flavor, excellent. Texture, not my favorite. Haichus, haichus are always like, really thick and hard to high chew through. You gotta do a high chew to get to it. You gotta do a high chew to get through it. Ah, like a Titan. No, nobody gets that reverend. One more time. I'm cutting that out. No, I'm probably not. Mm. Flavor, nine. Texture, four. We're gonna even that out at seven. The lemon high chew gets a seven. Pretty good score for a haichu. Thanks. Skittles floral fruits. Get ready to experience Skittles in all new floral flavors. I don't know that I'm gonna like this. I don't like floral flavors. Uh, flavors like grape, that's not new. Peach, probably new. Lychee, grapefruit, and passion fruit with hints of rose and jasmine. Ooh, I'm a little scared. So I don't know what's what, but uh, we're gonna try each one of these little flavors. So we got a light pink one. That's a lychee. No, no. Dark pink one. Tastes like perfume. Uh, tan kind of colored one. Tastes like grandma's bathroom. Um, orange, that's okay. And last but not least, yellow. You know what this tastes like? It tastes like going through the mall and walking through the perfume section at like Dior and just like breathing it in. <laughs> just spraying everything and just breathing it. This tastes like what my bathroom probably smells like. 16 pounds of hairspray. Not the best, not the greatest. <laughs> Believe me, I know. Um, four. I'll give that a four. I love Skittles, but those ones were shittles. Ah! Okay, probably one of the more exciting ones that I was waiting to get into. Oolong and peach Oreos. Bro. Look at this. Oolong and peach Oreos. Now, I don't know what an oolong is. Pretty sure that was the pig from Dragon Ball Z. Oolong. Isn't oolong a tea? Pretty sure. Yeah, oolong tea. My little stash. All right, oolong and peach Oreos. This is probably really good. Uh, when I was in Toronto the other day, we had deep fried Oreos. You would know that if you saw the vlog and you watched it, go watch the vlog. Um, they were delicious. Okay, it looks like an Oreo. Oh, dude, that smells like peaches. Hmm, okay. Initial reaction and thought, oh damn, that's really good. Okay, when you smell it, you're like, oh my God, I can smell the peach. 10, the smell alone, just a 10. Um, then you eat a bite, and 
The Oreo cookie, the chocolate, completely overpowers all the taste of what's on the inside. However, when you start chewing through it and you do get to the inside, or if you just take a bite of the cream, that is so good. The cream is like sitting at the top of my mouth right now. We can easily guess what I'm giving this. This is probably the best Oreo I've ever had. Oh, that is a good fucking cookie, dude. I just want to end this episode right now and just keep eating these. This is the life. This is my job. This is what I do. Not a bad gig. <laughs> Let me just savor this moment. It tastes like peach ice cream. Man, I want all the peach stuff right now. Peach has definitely become, in the recent years, my favorite fruit. That's good. That's good. I left my phone on a park bench and I went to go check something. Cause we were just walking around. I went to go check something. It was like the first day in my life that I've been without a phone. So I forgot all about my phone. And I left it on a bench and I had to go back and get it. I think it's pretty safe to say that was a 10. Okay, fried rice crackers. That's these ones. Did that show up? Okay, these taste, these smell familiar. I bet you I know exactly what these are. I can tell you right now I know what these are. They've got the crystallized kind of like sugar on top of them. Yep. Oh, I didn't read the description of these, sorry. Umami, that's what it is. Umami flavor combined with a hint of sweetness to create the most craveable crunchy, crunchy snack we've ever tried. And that's saying something. It's umami. I'm kind of vibing with those right now. I'm gonna give those, um, I'll give those a seven and another try. Oolong and peach flavored jellies kind of taste like tea in solid form. Don't knock it until you try it. Now these are always interesting. Oh, and he got, gave me one of these recently when I went in there. So these tea, these are always like, I don't know about tea in a solid form. I haven't heard that, but these, there's literally one way to eat these. And it's like this. <laughs> That's really good. I like that a lot. I feel a little biased with some of this stuff though, because I really do like peach flavored stuff and I, I like peaches a lot. So you pretty much give me anything peach flavored, I'm gonna like it. So I'm, I'm gonna throw that up there at another eight because I think that's a really delectable little treat. It's slimy yet satisfying. So this says Oreo matcha ice cream. <laughs> I don't see where this little treat's at. Oh, Snickers. Dude, I crave Snicks sometimes. Um, I don't see this little treat in here. So I'm not really sure what it is. This is the mini, that's the original, that's the family. I didn't get it in either one of these. So I don't know what this is. This says Treat Burst Choco Fills. So it's chocolate filled something. Flavored choco filled, choco filled cookies. Do you say choco or taco? Choco? Choco choco, chocobos. All right, powdery, messy, chocolatey. It reminds me of a vanilla wafer, you know? Oh, there's only one in here? Oh my God. Now that is a snack. This is a chocolate wafer, vanilla wafer, chocolate cookie with chocolate in the middle, but it's not just chocolate in the middle. Bro, this is like chocolate pudding in the middle. You know those little snack packs of pudding? You pull the little thing back and you, that's basically what this is. 10, praise the archangels, the archangels. <laughs> Flying in arches. <laughs> yeah, that definitely gets a 10. That's so good. Oh my God, China, why? Why you have to be so delicious? All right, moving on to the final thing. Finale, passion fruit and pineapple soda. Passion fruit and pineapple flavors sparkle and shine in this refreshing Chinese soda. Cheers. Mirinda. Like a little soda shoot. Mirinda. Oh, I'm gonna this up. That's good. A blue dolphin on the rocks. Yo, that's some good shit, dude. Thank God, I'm pretty. I might actually prefer it warmer than iced. I feel like you lose a lot of flavor this way. Like I feel like the warmth with the carbonation and everything definitely brought out the flavors a lot stronger. This feels like it like kind of took away some of it. Um, I'm gonna say, because I feel like the flavors taste so drastically different, cold and warm. I'm gonna say warm, I'm gonna give that an eight. I really like it. Cold, I'll probably drop it down to like a six. It just tastes kind of like fruit flavored soda. It doesn't taste like as intentional as the other one did. If that makes any sense, just go with it. Yeah, that's it. Thanks for checking out another episode of A Bite of Culture and traveling the world with me and my beautiful hair. Next stop, Japan. We got another box coming up from Japan for you guys uh, after this commercial break, which could possibly last like two weeks. Stay tuned. If you guys enjoy this content and you want more of it and you want to support and help this channel, please make sure that you share this, get other people onto the YouTube 
click that notification bell, click the subscribe, and join our Patreon to help us continue growing our Baby Bat family on Patreon. And you guys will get not only your name at the end of these credits, somewhere, probably right here already, who knows, uh, but you guys can join our Discord and a bunch of other fun activities that is exclusive to our Baby Bats on Patreon only. So join that at bokuahide.com or patreon.com forward slash bokuahide. We will see you guys in Japan from my living room. Thank you.